Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question. The area of a rhombus is 240 cm square and one of the diagonals is 16 cm. Find the other diagonal. We know that area of a rhombus is 2 half d1 into d2 where d1 and d2 are the length of the diagonals and in the question we are given that area is equal to 240 centimeter square one of the diagonals say d1 is 16 centimeter and we have to find out the other diagonal that is d2 let us substitute the values in the formula we have 240 is equal to half into 16 into d2 this gives us 240 is equal to 8 d2 this implies 240 by 8 is equal to d2 on solving we get 30 this implies d2 is equal to 30 centimeters and hence the other length of the other diagonal of the rhombus is 30 centimeters let us read the question there is a hexagon m n o p q r of side 5 cm Aman and Rhythma divided it in two different ways. Find the area of this hexagon using both ways. It is given in the question that Rhythma divided the hexagon in this manner by joining these two points that is M to O and R to P and Aman divided it drawing a line from N to Q. Let us try to solve the question using Aman's method. We know that Aman joined N with Q and hence he got two congruent trapeziums. We know from the original figure that OP is 5 cm and Q is 11 cm. We get area of trapezium n o p q is equal to half into h into a plus b that is 5 plus 11 now it remains to find h that is we need the value of the perpendicular from p on nq from the original figure we have rp is equal to 8 centimeters that means if we draw rp that should be 8 centimeters and our NQ will bisect it so we will get 
a perpendicular from P on and Q to be 4 centimeters. So we have that since and Q bisects RP so H is equal to 4 centimeters hence the area of NOPQ will be equal to half into 4 into 16 which is equal to 32 centimeter square but Amman's hexagon consists of two such trapeziums and now we have the area of one of the trapezium which is congruent to the other trapezium hence we multiply this area by 2 to get the area of the hexagon and hence area of our hexagon MNO PQR is equal to 2 into 32 that is equal to 64 centimeter square. Now le let us look at Rhythma's figure. She has divided the hexagon into two congruent triangles MNO and RPQ. From the original figure we have RP is equal to 8 centimeters. So we have 8 centimeters and we have NQ is equal to 11 centimeters. Also OP is 5 centimeters. This is 5 centimeters. So now to find the height to find the area of this triangle we will subtract 11 minus 5 will give us 6 that means the height of both the triangles would be 3 centimeters so now let us calculate the area of hexagon using Rhythma's method we say that triangle M N O and triangle R P Q are congruent triangles and have altitude equal to three centimeters, implying that area of triangle M N O is equal to half into base into height which is equal to 12 centimeter square and which is also equal to area of triangle RPQ. We also have to calculate the area of the rectangle MOPR. So area of rectangle MOPR is equal to 8 into 5 that is equal to 40 centimeter square. So now we have that area of hexagon MNO PQR is equal to area of the triangle MNO plus area of the rectangle MOPR plus area of triangle RPQ which is equal to 12 plus 40 plus 12 that is equal to 64 centimeter square.